Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain every single slider in this super powerful photo editing application. For those who don't know me, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now before we're gonna jump into the editing, I wanted to cover a few things. First of all, if you want to follow me along, make sure that you download the sample images. You can find the link in the description and just download them before we're going to start. Also, another thing, if you don't own Luminar Neo, you can go to the description, follow the link there and also use our code Clever Photographer, all in capital, all together, and you will get additional 20% discount. So that's really cool. And finally, we want to ask you to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Now in today's episode, we are looking at the essential tools, also known in Luminar Neo as essentials. Specifically, we are looking at the vignette tool. Now let's talk about the vignette tool. The vignette tool darkens or lightens the edges of your image. Uh, this is actually quite old technique used to emphasize the subject in a photo, simply using the rule of the human eyes being attracted by the brightest part of the image. The effect typically leaves the center of the image unaffected while shading or lightening the edges. Now the Luminar AI goes even further by letting you place the center point of the vignette anywhere in the image. And how it works I'm going to show you now. So we are here in Luminar Neo and for this first exercise we're not going to use the images but we're going to use this blue square. So we're going to use that and we're going to go inside of the edit module and we're going to focus on the vignette here in Essentials. So first of all, let's start by this button called choose subject. Now we can click on that and when we click on that, our mouse changes to this cross and we can actually point it anywhere on the image and by doing that, we're going to set the center of the vignette. But for the first, for the beginning, we're not going to worry about it. So let's forget about this choose subject right now and let's look at the actual sliders. First of all, we're going to look at the amount. So the amount slider adjusts the darkening around the edges of the photo. Move it to the left to give more shading to the edges or move it to the right to brighten the edges. So let's have a look. So we move it to the right and as you can see on the color, they are getting brighter and whiter on the sides. Once again, just as a reminder, all we're doing, really, I want you to take the sliders and push them all the way to see the effects. There is no point of increasing it to a 10 and don't really see what the effect does. So slide it all the way through and have a look at what it does. So when you go to the right, you get the brightening effect. So obviously, when you go to the other side, you get the darkening effect. Now, when you double click on any of the sliders, just like I did now, let's bring it down. When you double click, it resets them and bring them to zero or their initial value. Now, as you can see, the rest of the sliders are grayed out right now. And the reason being that I have the amount on zero. And the reason is that the rest of the sliders affect the actual vignette. So let's bring the vignette down. Let's have it nice and powerful. So let's go all the way to 80. And let's talk about the rest of the sliders. Now we're looking at the size. So the size slider sets the size of the obscured area, moving it to the left, increases the darkened area, moving it to the right, decreases the darkened area. So let me show you. So when we move it to the left, you can see we're getting more and more dark, less and less bright. We can go all the way here. And moving it to the other way, we're getting much more bright and just a little bit of the dark. So that's good to know. Moving on some of the advanced settings. If you can't see them, there is this little arrow. You just click on the arrow and it will open the advanced settings. There are three settings. First one, the roundness. So the roundness allows us to change the shape of the shaded area. So let's bring even a little bit more vignette and let's play around with the roundness. So when we go to the right, you can see that the actual shaded area is getting much more round. And when we go the other way around, we are almost getting square. So another effect which is really handy to know about and you can use in the future. The next slider is called Feather and the Feather slider sets the smoothness of the transition between the area of the shading and the rest of the image. So let me show you what it means. So when I do this, the vignettes become much more defined. The edge is much more defined and much more sharper. When I go the other way around, 
the gradient of the effect, it's much nicer. I really like to push the feather because I think it looks very, very cool. So once again, I can just double click on the feather sign and it resets it. And finally, the third option, it's called inner light. This slider increases the brightness in the center region of the image that is not affected by the shading. It allows you to create contrast effect. So really, when you push this slider, the center will become brighter. Now, let me show you. This is what it does. And I will show you in a second how we can use this in photo editing. So really we run through the sliders. I, ho I hope this was clear. And now let me show you how we're gonna use it in our real time scenarios. So let's jump back to the catalog. And let's start by this image right here. We are on our typical landscape image. We will open it in edit module and we will focusing on a vignette. Now on picture like this, we don't really worry too much about the choosing subject because we want the vignette to be the traditional vignette only on the outside of the image. So really what we're going to do, we're going to go into the amount and just bring it down a little bit until we like it. Now a good tip for using the vignette is bring it down and take a one or two step back from the computer. Because really when you close to your screen, you can't see the vignette very clearly and we keen to overdo it. However, when you do one or two steps away from your screen, you will start to see the vignette more and you will see how unnatural it is. Now, I usually like to stay between minus 10 to minus 30. However, it's completely up to you. I don't really touch the size, never really touch the roundness, but I touch the feather. I really like to feather it a lot to make it a little bit more natural. So this is what you do with the vignette on the traditional photos like this. For example, on a landscape, you just use few of these sliders and leave it alone. Now let's jump back to the catalog and let's use this image right here. We are going back to edit and we are focusing on the vignette. And this time it would be really cool if we could have the center of the vignette on the lady. And this is where the choose subject will really help us. So we click on choose subject, which will change the mouse and the arrow into this little cross and we will point it at the center of the lady. So that's that. Now, when we're going to go into the amount and click minus, and I will really push it for you to see, you can see that the center of the vignette isn't in the middle of the image, but it's around the actual lady. Now, obviously, we're not going to do that much of it, but maybe something like this. Now, how about the size? Do we want to push it more or maybe something like this, just to really bring attention towards the woman. Roundness, let's have a look, maybe just a little bit, I think a little bit of feather, and then we can bring more of the amount down. And finally, we can use the inner light here. We can really push the inner light and glow up the person with the flowers and do something special there. So you can really bring the attention towards your subjects by using the vignette, by using the choose subject, and then play around with more sliders than just the amount. Quite often people use just the amount and leave it be. However, there are other options which can really benefit your edit. And now you know how to use them. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe and also check our other Luminar Neo videos on our channel. Once again, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.